the secret to making the perfect pizza crust every time. So I've already got my yeast, one, tea, one tablespoon, excuse me, with two and a quarter cups of warm water. And I put a little bit of sugar in there just to kick start the yeast. So here is the secret right here. We're going to add one cup out of six cups of flour. We're just gonna add one cup to the yeast mixture. And we're gonna let this kinda do its little magic with the yeast for one hour. So this will kinda get the, the flour all started with the yeast rising and it does its magic. So this is the main trick and the main secret. So if we look at our recipe real quick, two and a quarter cups of warm water, one tablespoon of yeast, and then one cup of flour. So you stir all that in, make sure the yeast is bubbling and it's active, you know it's working. Okay, after an hour, you come back, you stir in your extra five cups of flour. I like it salty, so two teaspoons of salt and a quarter cup of olive oil and then you knead it, I do it by hand, 10 to 15 minutes. Let it rise for an hour and a half. You can knead it again and do a second rise. I like to put it in the fridge for a couple hours and flatten it out and roll it out. So that's the secret. I'll come back and show you the kneading process. I've got two bowls here because I'm making two, I'm making a double batch. So anyhow, we'll be back. All right, I'm back. I've got five cups of flour here and two teaspoons of salt. I just mixed it in real good. And we're going to add that to our previously set aside for an hour. I forgot to tell you to cover it with some plastic. And you can see how it bubbled up really nice so that it's already, the yeast is really working on that flour. And that's the whole secret again. So what we're gonna do now, let me get a spoon. So we're going to use the handle of the spoon to mix our quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. This is the good stuff right here. And you can put in a little extra. So we'll pour that in. See if we can do this. Oh, and the salt I use, real salt. That's the good stuff right there. Um, yeah, you wanna use real salt, not that fake chemical stuff. So, we're gonna add a bit of flour, maybe about a fourth of our mixture, and start mixing it with the spoon handle. Get it real good in here and just repeat that process. I'm gonna have to set this camera down. We'll just repeat this process a couple times. And get all our flour in there. And make sure you've got a good hard surface for kneading the dough. And I'm gonna, like I told you, I'm gonna do it by hand. You can do it in the bread machine, whatever you wanna do. Good hard surface and once you get this mixed up it you'll then start kneading it take a look at the clock give it at least 10 minutes if you can go longer go longer but I'll be back to show you the dough ready to rise all right just kneading the dough here you want to work it for about 10 minutes. <laughs> All right, there's the dough. Just stuck it in the bowl, put a little bit of olive oil, 
in the bowl, covered it with plastic wrap, and we're gonna wait about an hour, maybe an hour, 20 minutes, hour and a half, and that bowl should be full of dough after about an hour and 20 minutes or so. So we'll come back and check on it, and it should be complete. All right, here it is, complete. It's risen about an hour and a half. What I'm gonna do is take it out of here, cut it in half, and that'll make two large uh, 18 inch pizzas. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'm gonna freeze one and then I'll refrigerate the other one for probably about three hours and then I will roll out my pizza. All right, hope you liked it and try it out. Tell me what you think.